My Iowa adventure and special tour of the Brenneman pork operation started early on day two, with Erin and one of her sons taking me to the barns. So Erin, we are all scrubbed in. We have our literal scrubs on. We are ready to go to the maternity ward. That's right. Let's do it. Okay. So we have a Mama Sal, and she's giving birth. She's giving birth. As we speak and stand here. That's right, that's right. Ah! <laughs> that's right, looks like she had 15 babies so far. Oh my word. And they're word. all trying to get a drink of milk. We have moms give birth every hour of every single day in the maternity ward. Oh my gosh. So we actually have three crews, and we have 24 hour care for our babies. Really? Yes, we do, because mom doesn't care that it's five o'clock, and it's time to go home. If she's ready to have babies, she's ready to have babies. I mean, that's kind of how I've heard it is. Like, when it's your time, it's your time. It's and your time. Mama Sal's are no exception. Absolutely <laughs> not. So, they're having 15 babies at a time. Yes. So, we certainly need to be there to make sure that these pigs have everything that they need to get a great start. Now, what do you want to make sure that they have to get that great start? All right, there's three things that I preach about. They need to be warm. Okay. They need to get dry and they need to get full of milk. Okay. Which sounds really simple, but achieving that on 15 babies, on 60 moms every day, is where the fun, challenging part comes in. Okay. To make sure that every single pig gets exactly that. So why is it so important to get them off to a healthy start? Well, what you do right here can really determine the health of that pig for its entire lifetime. Really? So like, what's happening right in front of us is gonna impact it for the rest of its life? Absolutely. A, a what? sow will express colostrum just like a human. Okay. And what a colostrum is, is antibody-packed milk that gotcha. she will only express for about 24 hours after giving birth, and oh. then it goes away. Tiny window. That's right. That milk is custom made for just her pigs. So we wanna make sure every one of these pigs gets a drink of that milk. Okay. And that's gonna protect that pig from any bugs that he might see the rest of his life, really. Gotcha. <gasps> Little baby. Oh. oh, he's so warm. Oh, you're all right. It's so comfortable in here, like the climate, the temperature, it just seems like like in maternity ward, it is ideal conditions. Absolutely. And that's not a mistake, right? That's all y'all's doing. No, that's not a mistake. I mean, we need to keep them comfortable. Now let me ask you about these big fans that I see behind us. It seems like they're pushing air out, not necessarily pulling it in. Absolutely. So the air is always being pulled out of this barn and they're being pulled through those inlets. Gotcha. And sitting above each one of those inlets is a HEPA filter. And oh. that filter is filtering the air coming in. That's like a hospital. It's just like a hospital. It's exactly the same ones that they use in hospitals. Oh my goodness. It's filtering out virus. It's also improving air quality inside here for the pigs. To me, to a, a farrowing person, this is ideal. Is ideal. So you are so passionate about what you do here with all of the pigs, but you grew up outside of Chicago. I did. Did you ever think that this was going to be your life or this was going to be your passion? Oh, totally never on the radar. <laughs> I had never even seen a pig until I married my husband, um, who happens to be a pig farmer. It's been incredible. And I think that that particular upbringing of being in the city, not knowing really not thinking about where your food comes from. It came from the grocery store. Yeah. So just doing that to coming to here and now being a part of where your food comes from has just made me that much more passionate about sharing it. And so, you know, we live normal lives. We happen to just have a really cool job. Yeah, do you think that maybe part of that growing up in this city and, and you being exposed to this and finding it so fascinating is really what makes you then want to turn around and share it with others that might have grown up just like you and, and have no idea about this awesome world of agriculture. Absolutely. This is incredible. I have one question for you though. Okay. I know it's a little bit of your thing that you like everyone to experience the miracle of pig birth. 
Absolutely. Do you think we might be able to find a farrowing mama and, and have me have that experience with you? Absolutely. Any hour of any day we can do that. <laughs> I, I get one of those, right? You're not gonna make me bare yeah. arm it. Yeah, no, only I get these. <laughs> Lube. Lube me. We're going in. Oh, oh, woo, that's a lot. Okay. All right, so you kind of go in. I always tell people like a duck face, like you're making a duck face. We're making a duck face. You're gonna go in, you're gonna feel like her, kind of her pelvic area. You're gonna go beyond that. This one's a little tricky, so you've got a good tricky one. Oh, good. Go beyond that, go until you feel something that feels like a pig. Okay. And I'm gonna be right here and I'm okay. gonna We're just going for it. Like I'm just, just going really for it. okay. I just go like this. Oh wow, yep, I'm in there. Okay, there's no turning back now. Yep, there we go. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait, what am I looking for? Why isn't there a road map? Legs. You're looking for legs. legs. <laughs> you might have shorter arms than I do. I think too. I have shorter arms than you know. Okay, I'm feeling around for legs. I don't know what I'm, I'm not feeling. messing with you. I don't I'm, want to. I'm you feeling just something. Like, okay. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Oh yikes! Kind of move around until you. Envision. I'm really sorry, Mama. I'm she's sorry. Right. She's she's actually doing a good job. I don't know what I'm feeling for. Oh oh hello. Oh hello. I, I feel one. Oh there we go. Okay. Yeah. 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 No, oh, hi, no, no, no. Woo! <laughs> Hello! Hello, little guy! Brand new baby! Okay. So All now right. we put him over in here. Yep, yes. here, I got one for you. Okay. Put him in there. Yeah? And we rub that powder all over him. All Get him over working him. On him. Yeah, buddy. Welcome. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, little guy. Now you want some milk? Now I bet you do. Yeah, I bet you do now. There you go. I just birthed a baby pig. You did. Was there more? I think so. I don't know. Well, Erin, thank you so much for taking me around the barn today and for teaching me how to be a sow mama. Absolutely. <laughs> thank you for coming. I'm glad you got to do it.